Well, uh, you know, the CNU is unique amongst conferences because if you want to learn about light bulbs or Priuses or green buildings, there's probably a better place to go. To me, those are things that are taken care of. They're on their way. They don't need a boost any more than they've already gotten. And so to a newcomer, what you get by coming at the CNU is the big picture of how the little, little pieces come together to make great places. And it's the longer term thinking and it's the bigger, more strategic thinking. If you're focused on the end of sustainability that is also about quality of life uh, and that the, is the kind of attractor that Americans insist on. Americans don't like denial, they don't like discomfort. Uh, urbanism is convenient, it offers choices and so we've got uh, the facts on our side. I think of these times, you know, as hard as they are economically are the times of the most sort of hopefulness that I've, I've seen in years. I've, I've always been interested in about the same two things, which is cities and, and sustainability. And so finally those issues are, are coming into the mainstream. So I'm seeing that in RFPs that we're getting for de from developers and from cities. I think that this is also the cooling off period is a good time to retool. A lot of the projects that went on hold in 2007, 2008, frankly weren't that good. And it's not such a bad thing that they aren't going forward. And so this is the time to rethink and aim much higher you're a leader, either a mayor or a council member, a developer, a governor, whatever, uh, you'll go back, I hope, asking for the right thing. Number one are a couple sessions with uh, Robin Rather and Kara Coletta. They're communicators, and we have great communicators, but they add another burst of patching together what the kinds of good places that we make with the relevant issues of today, climate change, shifting to a more sustainable American lifestyle, sustainable urbanism, if you will, uh, and the communication messaging about it. On that Wednesday afternoon, we're holding our Sustainable Urbanism Seminar. It's a comprehensive review of the book we wrote, Sustainable Urbanism, and taking people through all the details. On the Thursday, we've got an all-day Lead ND session, which is uh, amazing because we're rolling out Lead ND finally after six years of doing rolling out of the Sustainable Urbanism Smart Code modules. Yeah. One of the most intriguing sessions that I've been asked to participate in is called To Lead or Not to Lead. It's with Stefano Palazzoides and Hank Dittmar, who are two uh, board members who are really involved in sustainability nationally and internationally. Part of the world I inhabit is the world of lead buildings and now lead neighborhood development. And uh, as, as the standards are tightened, uh, I think that a traditional approach to buildings and to urbanism is only going to be more and more favored. And so uh, it didn't start out that way. I think LEED you know, was able to certify as good green building practices a lot of glass box buildings that just weren't that good. And so uh, that's going to be less and less uh, the, the case in the years to come. And I think it's going to be a great session. I'm a little scared because I think there's some tension in the air about the best way to go about all this. That's, that's the session. And fireworks are all but guaranteed. I got about half the material from the book by just hanging out at Congresses. And so, guess what I'm going to be doing this year? Hanging out at Congress.